All right, they say the meeting is actually live on Facebook right now. Um, so Facebook, I wanted to bring you into our world here at College Mode Academy. And we are about to do our official salute the scholars um, and salute the scholars and all the work they've done here at College Mode Academy for this past school year, for the 2020-21 school year. So you get to have a sneak peek behind the scenes that I often don't do. And so I hope you enjoy um, seeing and hearing, and I hope you celebrate with us in this moment. We love to hear from you, all right? Um, if there's anybody on my page and I've been transparent, you guys can go ahead and share into the group if you're a group member. Um, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna get started. I don't wanna hold us up. All right, guys. So. Here we are, salute to scholars. We're honoring again our seniors, our graduated seniors, college freshmen, also our trailblazers who have made a way for this year's students and other students, and then our rising stars that are going to be graduating in the near future. We're, this um, moment is about all of these people. All right. So the first person that we are honoring and celebrating today is Miss Alexa Boone. Miss Alexa Boone will be attending Auburn University. She is a debt-free scholar. Um, Alexa received money from the college itself, as well as um, a lot of outside scholarships. So I think she's somewhere between 10 and 15 outside scholarships that she's won and um, she is a STEM major, chemical engineering, all right? So if you're in the chat on Facebook, those of you all that are in the room here, um, celebrate this moment, and we wanna celebrate Alexa's success. So she's gotten in, into um, Auburn, and she did that without applying. They actually sought her out, by the way. Um, she had so much going on. And then she's also been the secretary in the YouTube committee of a nonprofit organization. So she is our STEM, she is one of our STEM scholars who's also been pouring back into the community and to other future STEM scholars. The next person that we want to celebrate is Miss Amaya Harris. Amaya is here. Hi, Amaya. <laughs> Amaya will be attending Texas Christian University. She had been accepted to the business side, um, the business school IT department, as well as the science and engineering department for IT. And so she's chosen to go on the STEM, the true STEM side. She's won over $114,000 in scholarship money. And she spent a lot of time mentoring and working with other youth in STEM. So we wanna celebrate her for that. Um, she graduated cum laude. She was awarded the Dr. Daniel Scholarship Award um, for Distinguished Achievement. She's been feeding the homeless. Um, she's also been putting her voice out there and making sure other people have a voice as, the elect, as an election clerk, got certified in CPR, and she's already been chosen. So this is huge. There's another student who's in a similar situation. She's already been chosen to um, be in the Leaders Life Program at TCU. So it's awesome when before the kids can even step on campus, they are already being recognized as leaders and being put in a leadership role. So we wanna celebrate Amaya for that. Thank you, Amaya, for being part of College Mode this year. Amir, Amir Townsend, shout out to Amir. Amir, unfortunately, um, is probably not here right at this moment. Amir is doing what he does, which is work really hard. <laughs> and so Amir will be attending Florida Gulf Coast University. Um, he is an environmentalist. He's um, pro the environment and environmental justice. And Amir has over $3,500 in scholarship money. Um, those are private scholarship dollars. He did not report his other scholarship money. So I want to make it clear he has more money than this to attend college, but this is what he submitted when we asked for his numbers. Um, and so keep in mind, he was 
talk about some of Amir's accomplishments. He graduated with over 3.8 GPA. Um, he completed over 120 hours of service in just this past year. And his classmates um, gave him the superlatives, Hypus Wolf Senior, which is their um, mascot and most opinionated. So we want to wish Amir well on his journey to Florida Gulf Coast and continue celebrating all of his accomplishments and hard work. And Miss Sandra, his mom, is here to witness this moment. So um, you guys can congratulate him in the chat on Facebook, and I'm sure Miss Sandra will pass the word on to Amir. <laughs> Ms. Ashley Folston is the next 2021 graduate that we're going to celebrate. Ashley, I want to say this and honor those. There were four students who stepped up as camp mentors this summer. Um, and Ashley was one of those students. So one of the things about Ashley is Ashley got out the whiteboard. She meant business, honey. When those kids came in there, it was like, we, we getting to work. <laughs> Ashley had the whiteboard out. She had the screen sharing going. She was in full tutor work mode. Um, Ashley will be attending the Howard University. Okay. Um, scholarship wise, Ashley is our, when we talk about the largest amount of money offered, the student who got offered the largest amount of money, that was Ashley for this year. She was awarded over $850,000 in scholarships. Um, Ashley chose to attend Howard. Um, at the last minute, we were doing some signing day back and forth. And right before the clock, much like Amir, she chose her final destination, which is Howard University. Um, I also want to note that it's important for scholars to realize what they accepted versus what they turned down, right? So she had $850,000 in scholarship offers. And no, she did not apply to over 50 colleges like some people. And if you're watching this, I'm going to use that as a teachable moment. You actually should not, you actually should not be applying to that number of universities, guys. It's actually considered fairly unethical. Um, so that's a moment for those of you out there on Facebook. Um, she has over $20,000 in some outside monies, I think, is what this is saying, because she definitely had the $850,000. All right. Shout out and congratulations to Ashley for being the highest scholarship earner and being our resident math um, scholar who's been teaching the next generation of college mode scholars. Um, the next person we're going to celebrate is Ms. Christina Caston, who is a pre-med major. Ms. Christina Caston graduated with her associate's degree as well as her high school diploma this year, and she will be attending Wiley College. She has over $5,000 in addition to her full ride scholarship. And I see her mom is here. I don't see, uh, she may be there with her mom as well, but please congratulate uh, Ms. Christina Kasten on all of her hard work um, that she did. She was also working with youth um, through the Zetas and some other work. And so I wanna recognize that she was completing a college degree at the same time. And this is really important. In the moment we're in, she started a social media page for activism. Um, and she's actively engaged in activism, not only when it comes to healthcare, but other racial justice issues and social justice issues. Our next scholar is Miss Sierra. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Page, yeah. That's your Wally Wildcat. That's your future legacy. Um, Mr. Page is here. He is uh, Wally, which is uh, one of our underclassmen parents. He is a Wally alumni, so he's sharing her on in the comments. We have Miss Sierra Ashley is up next. Sierra was also a camp mentor, and Sierra got them together on the essay side. I had to tell them last night, Sierra cracked that whip, and they wrote two essays in an hour yesterday. 
Um, I wonder, I'm like, I don't know if I told her that. I think Ash, I think Sierra came up with that on her own. Um, Sierra will be graduating, I mean, not graduating, attending the Howard University, um, you know, also with Ashley Folsom. And she is a pre-med major who has already launched a skincare line um, and is working actively certifies a phlebotomist and an EKG technician. So she's already very active in her field um, with certifications and creating product lines. Her total scholarship money to Howard University is $76,000, but um, Sierra, I think we calculated over $400,000 total in scholarship dollars that Sierra secured. Um, for some reason, when we asked them for their scholarship money, y'all, they got all modest on us but um, they've been around here winning. <laughs> I think Sierra has won uh, about five scholarships in the past month or so, in addition to the money that she has from Howard University and other scholarship money. Um, and so we want to acknowledge in addition to that, um, she's done multiple hours in her leadership role um, with NHS and student council and she increased her test score, her ACT test score by four points during the school year, which is a huge jump, guys. So shout out to Sierra. Our next scholar that we will be honoring is Mr. Daniel McCowan. Mr. Daniel shocked me when he decided he was just gonna declare on signing day that he was going to Baylor University. <laughs> and so Daniel, um, is attending Baylor University. He has over $116,000 to attend Baylor University, but he's also been on a winning streak with those private scholarships. I did have the honor of attending um, one of his scholarship ceremonies that, where he received a direct check. Again, some of this is, is a moment. Um, so he got a check written out directly to him that would help him get off to college for a Juneteenth essay contest. So make sure that you're not uh, overlooking those like small essay contests, because a lot of times they will write the check directly to you. And so his, his um, success that he's achieved in the past year is that he's graduated magna cum laude. Um, he's participated in several videotapings for his church. So in the middle of the pandemic, he's um, been a youth in a youth leadership role and gotten great reviews. Um, he's participated in the State Poetry Out Loud competition, and he won first place in mock trial at the state level. And he led the mock trial team in popcorn sales. Um, now, he's not going to school to be, <laughs> to be a salesman, but I can tell you one thing, whenever Daniel gets ready to sell something, he can sell it to you. So we want to honor Daniel. Shout out to Daniel for all of his success and awards this year. Our next scholar is Ms. Haley Broadnax. Ms. Haley Broadnax will be attending the Prairie View a and University here in Texas, where I'm located currently. Um, Haley won, let's see, we have over $200,000 in scholarships here. Haley won the USDA scholarship actually at Langston University and Prairie View University. So she had an option of using that USDA scholarship with the, with the internship at either college. She was also awarded money at Howard University and she won a $40,000 STEM scholarship from the Fossey Foundation. So shout out to Haley for all of those wins. And she's maintained um, AB honor roll, graduating with honors volunteer at her local library for different events and holidays. And while she was on virtual, she, um, instead of her taking the role of I can't do anything, she made sure she showed her leadership by taking initiative for, initiative for group projects, class discussion, and lectures, and lectures, guys. So let's celebrate Haley for all she's done. I got you, Jeremiah. If, if you guys submitted your money somewhere else, you will find out we were resourceful and trying to count your money for you. 
<laughs> somebody tell me in the chat they have their money um but they didn't put it on there it's okay we try to help you guys out if you want to put any updates in the comments please do um, i know the parents may be a little anxious about i know this child did more than this but this is all they gave me so um you can put those updates in the chat and we'll be glad to celebrate them our next scholar is Mr. Isaiah Holder. He will be attending Prayer View a &M as well um, here in Texas. And he is a avid dancer, musician, and youth leader at his church. He was accepted into four out of five of his um, HBCU. He decided he was definitely going the HBCU route. And he increased his GPA and has had several recognitions for um, performing arts over the past year, as well as increasing, uh, and as well as increasing his GPA. All right. Um, so, Miss Garrett, which is Christina's mom. So we have two certified phlebotomists in the group, guys. She's a certified phlebotomist as well and pre-med, um, Christina. So that's a, a note for her. All right, so when I call your scholar's name, if there are any updates, please put them in the chat and um, we will celebrate that at that moment too. But I know that had already passed, uh, so. Uh, Jalen McDuffie is our next scholar. And so Jalen was also a camp mentor. Um, Jalen helped the students with essays, with talking about themselves, and raising their confidence. Um, she challenged them on their thoughts about what they thought they could do and couldn't do and explained to them how she achieved her goals. She also challenged them um, in the area of test prep, their mentality around test prep. So um, she took the lead on that in camp and we appreciate you coming in this summer. Jalen, um, the students enjoyed you and she also stepped in. We have a group of students this um, summer who are working on a police brutality um, service project. She also stepped up, her and Sierra both stepped up. And um, in addition to being just camp mentors for College Milk, um, they stepped in to help you survive as they manage the student service project this summer. And so I don't want that to go unnoticed. All right. Um, Okay, I'm gonna come right, I'm gonna come back to that, Sierra. Thank you. Um, so Jalen will be attending Florida AM University. She will be attending Florida AM University, is her choice. So she's admitted to several schools, but that was her choice to attend Florida AM University. Right now, her total we understand is um $76,000 plus. And that money is all the money she has specifically for Florida AM University. But she was, she was um, awarded, I don't know what that number is. It's somewhere around 200 something thousand dollars in scholarships if you include outside money to other colleges total. The other thing to note about Jalen, uh, 20K for Hampton. Yeah, so there's some other monies from other colleges um, that she was awarded. And those were annual awards that she's dropping in the chat, guys. So Jalen um, has blazed a trail for a lot of students that will be coming after her in the arts, in the visual arts area. She was honored by Scholastic. She was honored by Young Arts. She was honored by the Miami um, Silver Knight Committee, the Miami Herald Silver Knight. She actually, at the time she put this in, it was a nomination but she is the official Silver Knight um, recipient for art for the Dade County, Miami-Dade County area. Um, she is a Fr Florida Fulbright Futures Scholarship recipient. So that's tuition and a book stipend. Um, so she has several awards. Um, last night, Jalen didn't get to hear this, but um, she won the Insta Famous, or somebody may have told her, because I see her smiling, um, may have told her that <laughs> We gave her the Insta Award for um, hashtag sign me up because I think she's been the most involved in scholar and college mode as well as outside. Um, ah, and Jalen, how could I forget that Jalen? 
because I had to go back and correct something. My first lady always said, it don't cost you nothing to correct stuff when you make a mistake, it don't take nothing off of you. So let me, let me correct and, and say this. Um, Jalen was a U.S. presidential scholar, which is only 161 students a year are given that honor. And so she was awarded um, the honor of being a U.S. presidential scholar for the 2020-2021 year. And in doing that, she nominated me um, for a teacher award, and I was recognized as a distinguished teacher for the 2020-21 school year by the Secretary of Education. So thank you so much for that nomination um, and congratulations again on that prestigious national award. All right, uh, let's see. I'll go back and correct one more thing. Ms. Sierra Ashley, I want to acknowledge this because I, I brought it up earlier when I was talking about Amaya. And I told you that Amaya was already designated as a leader on TCU's campus. And I want, and I said there were two people. Sierra is that other person that's already been acknowledged as a leader on our campus. She has been um, appointed to be the co-community service director for Ways of Change Leadership at Howard University. And she has not even set foot on campus. So I'm super duper proud of the students who are taking those leadership roles um, even before they set foot on campus and getting engaged and immersed in their school environment. All right, the next scholar we want to acknowledge and honor is Janaya Bond. She will be attending the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Um, Janaya was awarded over $483,000 in scholarship dollars. Um, it is to note that she is also a STEM scholar. She is also pre-med. She graduated a whole year early. <laughs> a whole year early as a pre-med major um, with a 3.7 GPA. Uh, she's a member of the National Honor Society. She increased her test scores by 100 points on the SAT. Um, she became a leader at church, did some video editing, um, much like a lot of our kids have lended their talents to their churches and supported virtual worship. Um, Janaya was also one of those students in volunteering and doing work at school. She also did tutoring. So um, please shout out to Janaya and welcome, uh, not welcome her, shout out to Janaya and congratulate her on all of her success. Um, one of the things that I will say now that some time has passed, um, everyone may not be fully aware, Janaya lost her dad in the middle of the singing year a few months back. Um, so she had a lot to um, overcome um, in the two months before graduation. So I, mend her, I commend her and applaud her for continuing to move forward in, um, in spite of all that was going wrong. Our next scholar is Mr. Jeremiah Johnson. He will be attending the University of Texas at Permian Basin here in Texas. Um, one of the things to note about Jeremiah is he wants to be a coach, um, that he that is his career choice. And he's already coaching. He's already going on the road with students coaching. So I want to acknowledge that because I believe um, in students stepping into those roles um, as early as possible and making sure they're just for them. And so Jeremiah had told me earlier in the chat, I forget what the amount was I'm trying to find it, Jeremiah, but we did acknowledge that he's a debt-free scholar going to UT. Permian Basin, but he also received money from the University of Tulsa, and he had given me one more in the chat, not quite sure what it was, um, but this money total is not just UT Permian Basin, it's a couple other colleges, so he's been recognized, um, and he has, let me make sure I get this right, um, in addition to that, he's been invited to be a coach intern intern coach at his college that he will be attending, which is very hard to do. That's a very hard um, opportunity to get. So shouting him out and honoring and commending him on securing that opportunity 
to be an intern coach as a freshman in college before he even set foot on campus. And he was also awarded the Servant Leadership Award. Congratulations, Jeremiah, job well done. Our next scholar is Mr. Jonas Gibson. Jonas will be attending Houston Baptist University. He is also an athlete who is playing baseball. Jonas was awarded over $83,000 in scholarships. The Hopper Award, in addition to the Hopper Award money from HBU, he graduated with a 3.4 GPA um, and got an A and B average on, on a roll recognition. He made it. He made it to all academic, academic all state team for baseball. He was also a volunteer coach with softball. I believe kickball is not on here. Um, maybe that was where he was the assistant coach. So he's been volunteering, being an athlete and also volunteering with other younger students and other younger athletes to bring them up um, in athletics the right way. He's a member of the Honor Society of Phi Theta Kappa because he took lots of dual enrollment classes, guys. And so he's part of the Honor Society at the collegiate level already. Congratulations, uh, Jonas. Great work. Keep up the great work as you move forward to your next level. Our next graduate is Mr. Lincoln Turner. Mr. Lincoln Turner will be attending Wesleyan University. Um, he'll be double majoring in public relations and musical theater. He has over $204,000 over the next four years to attend that college. He has several um, scholarships from outside, outside um, organizations in addition to the money he has for Wesleyan University. Um, Lincoln is on the mend. Pray for a full speedy recovery for him, please. Um, and just know I can't wait. I know at some point I'm going to see Lincoln on Broadway. I just know it in my spirit. <laughs> so he got accepted early decision and the, the over $50,000 in each year is the two, $204,000. But he did receive money from prestigious, other prestigious schools like um, Southern Methodist University and TCU as well. All right. Um, so we're wishing Lincoln well and um, moving forward and hoping that he can enjoy his full senior, you know, move in experience and all that, despite some of the challenge, his health challenges right now. All right, Ms. Mackenzie Greer. Ms. Mackenzie Greer stepped in today. She did the welcome. She was also a camp mentor. Um, she stepped in with us and then she stepped across the aisle, her and Lincoln, both work with the Dallas Children's Theater this summer. Um, so she's been busy working with these kids. <laughs> she will be attending um, Jackson State University is where she decided to make her college home. She was awarded over $370,000 in scholarship money. Um, she's been awarded a choir scholarship from them now from Jackson State and she ended her semester with a 3.91 GPA um, for the first, I guess that's for the first half of the year. She is the founder of Motivate Beautiful, which is a group of minority students at a school where it is predominantly other. She has mentored the students in the um, Dallas Children Theater Social, Social Injustice Group. And she won the opportunity to be co-author for a monologue um, the story, and it is her story. So let me just briefly say this, and I want to cheer you on, but I want to know, let you guys know what's possible. This is a huge deal. Somebody contacted McKenzie, and they are making a monologue out of her life story, and she's helping to co-author that. So there will be other students who will be um, learning from her journey in social justice and social activism and actually walking in her shoes on stage in the coming future. So um, that is a huge feat. 
I want to stop and congratulate you on that. And please let us know when we can see the performance of uh, Mackenzie's, you know, I guess the life of Mackenzie or day in the life of Mackenzie Greer on stage. So it's coming to a stage near you soon. Our next scholar is Ms. Paige Smith. Our next scholar is Ms. Paige Smith. She will be heading off to Florida a and University. Um, she is our up and coming business mogul. All right, she was awarded over 600, and, I mean, not 600, $66,000 in money from schools like Lynn University. In addition, she has outside scholarship money for FAMU specifically. She completed this year with a 3.8 GPA. And also, this is something we want to acknowledge. Our kids were in a virtual environment and that wasn't always easy for them. So she completed an online course with an A as well. Um, we're wishing you well on your next leg of the journey. And we can't wait to see what business ideas, what problems you're gonna be solving through your work as a business woman um, and paving the way for others and making space for others to come after you, Paige. Congratulations. Our next scholar is Mr. Ronnie Hammond. Mr. Ronnie Hammond is also a performing arts student. Um, he is attending the University of Utah, however, for gaming. And he was awarded over $200,000 in scholarships. He was awarded over $200,000 in scholarships. He is a working man. So we don't see him a lot. Um, once he took care of his business with scholarships in college, he's been away working. <laughs> but we still want to congratulate and celebrate him for the work he's done this year. The next scholar we want to honor is Miss Ryan Johnson. She will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. She is a pre-med major. She is an accomplished dancer. Um, she's not completely hanging up her dance shoes from what I understand. Um, she's going to still be dancing. And so one of the things to note about Ryan is that she has received a research grant. And again, some of these things, you guys, inside of our space, it looks normal, but it's well to be noted that to get a research grant as a freshman is, um, is a really big accomplishment. So we want to honor her for that as well as um, she won over $300,000 in scholarships. She was adamant about her next leg of her journey being about medicine. And in that, she turned down um, some scholarships. Other people probably would have been like, no. But she was adamant about what she wanted. And I commend her and salute her for standing up for what she wants for herself and her vision for her next level. Her success this year includes increasing her GPA to a 3.98 and being secretary of one of her school's clubs. Um, congratulations for all you've accomplished this year. Um, I want to say especially she won an award from the Washington Lincoln Alumni, which is an alumni group that represents um, Washington, Booker T. Washington High School and Lincoln High School from when those schools were the only schools that black students could attend in Dallas. And so they thought it not robbery to award and honor her. And I think that's also important to note. Congratulations again, Ryan. The next scholar that we will be separating, celebrating, and last but not least, but BJ, his first name start with a V and his last name start with a W. So poor, I think he, I think he probably gets the short end of the stick when it comes to this kind of stuff um, more often than not, guys. But that's not to say he is not celebrated and decorated. Um, BJ is attending, will be attending. No, is attending. Let me get that straight. Because he already finished a semester at Morehouse College. And get myself all the way together. Um, they paid him to be a data, a data analytics intern over the past week. He has been very busy this summer. Um, he is the CEO of VCR Media. I think I got it right. Um, and so he is a CEO um, that does media. His goal is to become um, 
more of a storyteller on media and digital platforms, guys. He also does performing arts. He's your all around renaissance guy. He put together a documentary over this summer um, and he's currently working on some other smaller projects. He's won over $200,000 in scholarships, but I think when we looked at what he submitted, he's won over 10 um, outside scholarships in the past few weeks. Um, and so he won two in one day, one day last week. So he's riding, you know, he's really going after it and getting this scholarship money. So I want you guys to continue, continue to cheer him on and his endeavors. Another thing to note about VJ is he is actively engaged and involved in lots of um, social justice, racial justice. And one of the things I first found out about VJ that impressed me is that he actually called his school board out on their inequity practices um, through an audit. That takes a lot of courage to do because you got to stay there with them people through the rest of the school year. He did that before he was a senior. And so he's been honored. He's been on podcasts and celebrated in many different ways on many different platforms. Um, he graduated with a 3.405 GPA. Um, he joined the Iowa Racial Justice Youth Action Squad. And he took the initiative in his... Um, in his club to continue teaching during the holidays. And SACRIS stands for something, civil rights. Sacred. That CR is civil rights. Go ahead, BJ. Tell us what it stands for, because I'm messing it up. <laughs> okay, it's students advocating for civil rights and education. Okay, civil rights and education. Students, okay. So note that we have a lot of future activists that are making their voices heard even now. I can't wait to see how they use their voices for change in the coming years and in the future. So that concludes our students advocating for civil rights and education. Got it. Um, that's what SACRED stands for. So I want to, before we move on, I don't wanna just leave off of this. I want to officially salute our scholars. They have worked, I, I cannot, I can't emphasize this enough. Adults have had a hard time. They've lost their jobs. Some of them quit their jobs because of the pressure. These students took the pressure and made lemonade out of lemons with it. They put themselves on a whole nother level. And that is to be commended and to be celebrated on a very high level. I'm gonna take a brief moment before we move on to our rising stars and trailblazers check in with our Facebook people. Does anybody, and also want to know if anybody has um, any comments or anything they want to say right at this moment, that would, I'm, I'm opening the floor for a hot moment here, okay? For a brief moment, I'm, I'm opening this up, okay? No? All right, we're gonna keep it rolling because we wanna make sure that our underclassmen know that they are loved and celebrating, celebrated as well. And Haley, you got some fans out here on Facebook. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, moving on to our rising stars and trailblazers. So the first person I'm gonna stop sharing for a moment and get my tech together, guys. I believe in getting this together as much as we can. Um, All right, so I'm gonna go back to sharing screen so you guys can see this. And again, I want to remind you that our scholars, even though we're virtual, they will receive, um, the seniors will receive a plaque um, that acknowledges all of their hard work and accomplishments, as well as some other things that we have in store for them that we've talked to them about. Um, 
But here we are with our first rising star. Our rising stars will receive an actual trophy. So I wanted you guys to see that. Our first rising star that we're going to celebrate is Miss Casey Page. And so we also, for our rising stars, we also gave them superlatives. Now, last night we played a game. And so our seniors, we're gonna keep that in our circle. I think that was something special for them to acknowledge amongst them. So I'm not gonna put that out. If they wanna celebrate and share their hashtag, their Insta famous from last night, feel free to. But I didn't put that out there because that was something internal that we wanted to celebrate together. Um, but for these uh, rising stars, we want to acknowledge where they are and what they're doing, right? And so we have Miss Casey Page. We gave her the superlative most likely to keep you on your toes. Um, she has academically accomplished AB on a roll, um, moved her class rank five places this year. And she's volunteered through several with several organizations. On her, the leadership side, it is important to know she's been elected National Honor Society treasurer. So I won't read everything on here. I'll let your eyes do some of the reading, guys, as we go through here. I also want to know why is this important? Um, mainly because we here at College Mode focus on academic service leadership and students creating a wow factor, their own personal brand. And so we wanted to point out what that looks like for our rising stars. Our next scholar, um, class of 2023, let me go back, sorry. Casey is class of 2022, so she is a rising senior. Our next scholar is a rising junior, Miss Leslie Simone Howard. And we have her as most likely to become an Olympian. She plays multiple sports and went to the state um, championship this year in basketball. Academically, she finished with an average of a 3.8 GPA. She's been volunteering very heavily with her church and she's taken on the leadership role of teaching students um, how to play the drums and also how to play the drums and become part of the worship team at her church or any other church. So salute to Leslie. Our next rising star, class of 2022, is Rod Bergen. Somebody's unmuted. Okay, we're back. Cool. Um, we have Brock Bergen, and we have him as most likely to be a radio show host. He is an, an aspiring sports journalist who's just coming back from his first professional journalism conference. Um, he maintains straight A's, increases SAT score by 110 points, and earns some credits. During service, this guy was busy. He raised over $5,000 for a local food bank. Um, donated local Christmas trees. Um, he's been mentoring young readers, guys. He's been mentoring young readers. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mackenzie. He's been mentoring young readers and for all of his work in the arena of service and his academic accomplishments, he was honored as the District 11 Student Hero by the Texas Education Agency which is the Board of Education here in Texas. So his um, work has not gone unnoticed. It's already been recognized at the state level. Our next rising star is Addison, also known as Addie. We often refer to her as Addie. And we gave her the superlative, most likely to work with anyone. Um, Addie really exemplifies a positive attitude. She's maintained a high GPA. She's joined the Key Club and become um, a social justice activist through a group called Student Voices. Um, and so she's been working to make things more inclusive in her environment and her community. She's also elected as the reporter for HOTA. Our next scholar that we are saluting is a rising senior, class of 2022. Shanda has, Shanda Seen Richardson has been here at College Mode 
it seems like all her life. No, <laughs> but she was part of College Mode before College Mode existed, literally. And so Shanda is a rising senior. Um, we voted her, um, chose the superlative most likely to become a well-known journalist. So even though Shanda is a, um, you know, pre, pre considering pre-law right now, we know that one of the things that Shanda does is she keeps her ear to the street and she is also very active around social justice. Um, this year, she raised her GPA, got straight A's and aced her AP exams. She hosted a senior senior prom, um, donated trolley trees to the nursing home, and she's in the midst publishing her own book. And so she conducted a literacy project around her book pre-publishing. Um, she didn't wait for it to be published to go out there and make a difference with her book. Um, Leadership-wise, she has served as Jack and Jill um, vice president for her area, but she's been elected president. She served as secretary of mock trial and been elected mock trial president, and she's been appointed HIP peer uh, as a HIP peer educator. And so we want to salute Shanda for all of her hard work. Um, it's also to note that Shanda has been attending and just wrapped up um, not too long ago, another uh, summer program at her dream college. So she's really um, making her way as a rising star and going after her dreams and goals. Next person we want to honor and recognize is Mr. Jeremiah Cleaver. He is a rising senior. He is a rising senior. And we gave him the superlative, most likely to know all the words to a song. And you guys know he is a singer deep down in his heart. Um, he Music is his thing. It comforts him, and he loves to use it to comfort others. His accomplishment is that he ended his senior year with a 4.0 um, plus weighted GPA. He came from having A's, B's, and C's and saying he just was going to try to get A's and B's to this 4.0 GPA. If there were a student that we were going to honor for um, making the most improvement, the most progress over the year, it would indeed be Jeremiah. Um, he increased his SAT score in addition to those academics at school. He increased his SAT score over 300 points. He's earned 280 hours of service in the past year. He's been um, nominated and recognized. Please stay muted, guys. Unless I open the floor, I'm hearing some additional noise here. Um, he's won uh, the local and the regional level in advance to the national, to the NAACP AXO national competition in singing. He's been um, part of the Renaissance Nacapello choirs and assisting with um, UIL competition. He's also led Bible study, not just for the youth, but also for the adults, which I think is definitely be commended and it takes courage to show up in that way. So salute to Jeremiah. The next scholar we want to salute and um, honor is Ms. Kennedy Roberts. Ms. Kennedy Roberts is class of 2024 and she has been taking care of business this year. We gave her the superlative most likely to dot all her I's and cross, to dot her I's and cross all her T's. Because before she gets off a call with us in Zoom, she's gonna find out and clarify and make sure she knows what needs to happen and what needs to be done. This past year, she passed all of her EOCs and started with high marks. She's been serving in various community outreach positions, um, including with a group called the Zenos. Um, in leadership, she's leading worship on the praise team at her church, guys. So we want to salute um, Ms. Kennedy Roberts and um, honor her for her achievements. Our next scholar we want to honor is Mr. Damari Jacob. Damari holds the title for high scoring on the SAT. He is the class of 2022, he's the rising senior. He increases SAT score by more than 300 points to scoring a 1470. 
So he's holding the title with that 1470. We gave him the superlative most likely to travel to outer space. <laughs> he is indeed a STEM scholar and enjoys learning and has lots of intellectual curiosity. This year he maintained straight A's. His GPA is now a 4.885. Um, weighted and 3.962 unweighted. This year, he took the time in this pandemic to find, uh, found a tech nonprofit called Pet Pals that assists in animal adoption. He developed the web app um, to increase pet fostering and adoptions. And it should be noted that part of his service um, prior to this year or at the beginning, I think he fostered his last pet maybe at the beginning of his junior year, but he's been fostering pets. So he understands that problem really well. He was appointed the class rep for the engineering academy at his school. He's taught STEM cat classes and advocated for STEM education and summer camp. And he's been inducted to the National Honor Society. So we salute you, Damari, for all of your hard work, all of the shifts you've made, all of the trails that you are blazing for others. So please give him a hand and salute him. Miss Terry Clark is here, which is his mom. So we wanna make sure we acknowledge him properly. Uh, we have our next scholar, Miss Tanaya Willis. She was voted most likely to become a teacher. <laughs> that is indeed her chosen profession um, that she's going after. Academically, she's maintained her GPA and made an A plus in forensics. Um, and to note, she struggled with her um, academics this year, but she made some big comebacks. She saw where she was struggling, got help, and bounced back, and that's important to note. She's volunteered through various outreach missions in her community and earned over 100 plus service hours this year alone. Um, she just came back from a cheer camp at SMU. And um, you guys forgive my Ms. Spellings here. Um, she's All-American nominee for cheer and a cheer ambassador for other students to take leadership roles. Ah, Damari, I didn't see you on the thing, but I'm glad I could see you now. All right, awesome. Shout out to Damari. Um, Tanaya, I don't think it's Tanaya here. Please give her a shout out. Oh, I see you, Damari, that's why. I'm looking down there in the black and you're on camera. Shout out to Damari. <laughs> All right. And our last rising star scholar is Mr. Tyler Morant. Um, we gave him the superlative most likely to always be serious. Tyler is um, really serious about his studies and when it comes to what he's working on and accomplishing. Um, Tyler has maintained his GPA and demonstrated discipline and doing so in a virtual setting. His volunteer with his church and in his neighborhood. Um, Tyler, over the past, I would say four to six weeks, has really um, come a long way. And so it's to be noted, sometimes everybody doesn't bloom at the same pace, but Tyler has worked diligently in the area of service. He's worked diligently um, on the things that he recognizes he needs to do. And he's also scored where he needs to score to get multiple full ride offers, guys. So shout out and um, salute to Tyler Morant. All right, our next and last segment, our next and last segment is our trailblazers. And I wanted again to share this um, with you guys because I wanted it to be noted as you are either underclassmen a graduating senior slash college freshman, I wanted it to be noted whose shoulders you're standing on and for you to recognize that you're paving a way, but also reach back and give a hand. These are students who reach back in college mode, but they've also blazed a trail in one way or another. Thank you, Sierra. Sierra says, congratulations to all of the rising stars. I'm gonna do a quick Facebook look and see.
Um, Shamanica Alexander says, super proud of you all. Congratulations to all the scholars. Um, we have a shout out to Tyler, way to go Tyler. And we have some other people watching. All right, so we're going to keep this part in moving. <laughs> All right, a little more to go here. So our first Trailblazer Award goes to Miss Jasmine Houston, Houston Rosado. And I think every student that's probably come through college mode has uh, met her or seen her work in some form or fashion. She is the first student to earn an undergraduate degree that came through um, college mode and was mentored by me um, as an educator full time, you know, in a, uh, in a structured manner. And so she also was the first to graduate from a HBCU. She is um, an accomplished author and she is currently enjoying life as a freelance copywriter. Um, she was an English major at Bethune Cook College. So that is Ms. Jasmine Houston Rosado. That is the first person we're honoring as a college mode trailblazer. The next person we're honoring is, let me make sure, did I click twice or click once? All right, guys, sorry about the little tech here. Um, Tamia Johnson. Tamia Johnson was the first student to become a Florida Bright Future Scholar and a recording artist. She is a recording artist and a graduate of Florida a and University now. Um, and she also mentors and works with other um, young recording artists that are looking to make it into the industry. Her major was um, music business at Florida a and University. Our next trailblazer is Ms. Kayla Alexander. Ms. Kayla Alexander, um, has lended a helping hand and lent back by we uh, pre-COVID, we would take students actually on college tours. And Ms. Kayla Alexander showed up and gave a great tour at Prairie View a and University where she's uh, currently a chemical engineering major. She gave them lots of tips of which offices to access money. Um, Isaiah and Haley take notes. Um, to find Kayla on campus when you get there, but she is a chemical engineer um, and she has lent a helping hand back for our up and coming students by being a tour guide. Um, Mr. Onye, Mr. O, Big O we call him, he was our first top 10% athlete and he finished the program in five weeks. He let me know when you all see us doing camp this summer, um, in two weeks, in six, in six days on Fridays, Anya was the catalyst that let me know that it was possible if students were motivated, that we could move that quickly. Um, in five weeks, he went from not having applied to college, not having fill out FAFSA, none of that, not having an essay, nothing, to having that done and having his first full ride offer. So he let us know what was truly possible using college modes blueprint guys. Um, but he was a top 10% athlete. He was also, I believe, our first student to graduate with their associate's degree. He is currently a student at Southern Arkansas University, and he'll be back on the field in the fall. Our next trailblazer is Ms. Tamara Johnson. She is our first student that has attended Howard University. Um, and so the students that are attending Howard University now, um, Ashley, and then we had eight out of eight students accepted to Howard this year. And a lot of that was due to Tamara reaching back and opening um, the door and saying, if you need support and mentorship in the application process, I'm here for you. Um, and reaching back each year since she's graduated. And so we want to salute Ms. Tamara Johnson as a trailblazer here at College Mode Academy. Our next trailblazer is Mr. Zahid Muhammad. He was our first multi-sport athlete who was also dual enrolled. He, had, uh, he didn't have quite have his uh, associate's degree, 
but he was really close. I think he was missing like five hours. Um, he was our student that let us know that there was a moment where we were like, college mode may not be for athletes. But um, Jonas, I know students like Jonas and um, Amaya, who is a soccer athlete, and some other students might be like, what? Yeah, there was a moment where we didn't think the college mode model was going to work for athletes because they're working so hard. But um, Zahid came in here with multiple sports, doing dual enrollment, and made it clear that, no, we're scholars too, and we can make this thing work. Um, he's also come back and given advice and uh, stepped in and talked to some of our male students, which I thoroughly appreciate. He will be graduating from the University of Texas at Arlington, I believe, in about one more semester. So um, we salute Mr. Zahid Muhammad. Our next trailblazer is Ms. Janaya Thompson. You often hear me re um, refer to her as just Naya. Naya was, is our first full ride advocate and chaplain. So she's the chaplain at her college, which is um, Philander Smith College. And as a full ride advocate, the reason why I gave her that title is a lot of times you have an idea of what you want your dream college to be. You know where you wanna go. And, but maybe they don't give you the money you need. Maybe they don't give you the money you want. And so Janiah was the first person that just wholeheartedly embraced. The schools I wanted didn't give me what I wanted. And I'm not going to play that game with them. They're going to, the school I go to is going to pay me to go there. And so she's over at Philander Smith as a debt-free scholar um, and not having to worry about uh, much. You know, as she told us, she gets naps in the afternoon. She's also come back multiple times to pour into um, our 2020 and 2021 scholars. Our next trailblazer we want to acknowledge is Ms. Jaskira Combs. She became our first collegiate scholarship ambassador. This girl posted her name tag <laughs> from Indiana University Scholarship Office. Um, she comes back often and pours into students and quiet as is kept, she is going to be our first debt-free college advisor and be on staff here at College Mode. She actually started um, a couple of weeks ago, helping with some practice SAT test proctoring. So I'm so excited to have Jess Kira here on campus. She graduated from Indiana University, completely debt free, and is an education major, is a future teacher. All right. So we're excited about all of her accomplishments and to have her on staff here. Our next trailblazer is Ms. Jemiah Seaton. And so much like the athletes, we questioned some of these areas and said, huh, these types of students have a hard time completing our program. Either we're gonna have to say that our program doesn't fit well for them, or can we make it work? And so Ms. Jemiah Seaton, um, she received a dance, she's our first dance scholar, um, but she also opened her arms much like Kayla, um, she's at University of Houston and opened her doors and said, hey, come on, not only am I going to do a campus tour for you, I'm going to mentor you and talk about what it's like to be a Black student at a PWI and how I've gotten into the flow and made this uh, my college home. And so um, Ms. Jemiah Seaton, we honor her and thank her for blazing that trail. Ms. Kaya Lytle. Ms. Kaya Lytle was our first published author. She's the first student to publish a book while she's in, while she was in the College Mode program. Um, Kaya is into user design, and she also um, left with her first full year of college covered and paid for. So we salute Kaya um, and thank her for showing us what's possible in the way of being a thought leader and becoming the first published author. Our next trailblazer is Miss Nina Jones. I'm sorry, I have to also acknowledge that Kaya 
has come back and helped out as well this school year. She was a 2020 graduate and she's come back and helped out as well. Uh, Miss Nina Jones. Miss Nina Jones is our first um, Florida Bright Futures Gold Seal Scholar. With that, it allowed her to start off at community college um, at any college in the state of Florida. Um, but Gold Seal should be acknowledged because that acknowledged that she was very excellent in her area, which is childhood, um, early childhood education. And so she was the first student that made, that we got to see make that work. And then she also came back and gave advice for the class of 2021. So we salute Nina for blazing that trail as well. Got a couple more to go. <laughs> Um, the next person we honor is Mr. Julian Dixon. Excuse me. He was our first Scholastic Award winner. Um, Jalen has since become a Scholastic Award winner. He showed us what was possible in performing arts as a performing arts major um, and auditioning and all of that. He also blazed the trail, like I said, for the first Scholastic Award winner. He was a 2020 graduate and he is at Lamar University. And then last but certainly not least, it's the little sister of Jess Kira Combs is Miss Candacia Combs. She is our first legacy full ride scholar. So I wanted to note before we get off of here and uh, have some conversations is when I say legacy full ride scholar, she's the first um, student to follow and a student, her sister, full ride everything covered. Parents didn't have to come out of pocket for tuition, room and board, any of that. Candacia came behind her and chose the college in the same situation. So they're, and they have a little sister. Um, so they have set the example that we choose colleges that pay us to come and we show up when we get there. And so I wanted to salute her as a trailblazer for that. She's also come back and given her time and advice and support for College Mode Scholars. So we're just about to wrap up our 2020-2021 Salute to Scholars. How exciting was it to hear all of these wonderful accomplishments, to see all of this excellence in our circle. I hope that this has inspired those of you that are heading off to college, those of you that are still, uh, Katrina Williams says, honorable black excellence. Exactly, exactly. I am super proud of the students and the parents here. This could not be done. I, I, I definitely cannot go. We didn't make a slide for this, but I want to acknowledge the parents. We don't do any of this without the parents. Our parents, look up information, they share information, they support their teens on this journey. And so none of this is possible without the parents along this journey as well. <laughs> Excuse me. So I want to salute, officially salute all the scholars, whether you were a rising star a trailblazer or you are a college freshman and being honored as the scholar of the hour, so to speak. We see you here at College Mill. We appreciate you. We support and love you. Um, we'll be here on the next extension of your journey. Those of you that are underclassmen, you see the greatness of which the shoulders that you stand on. And not only do I want to um, encourage you to do what the things that they've done, but I want to encourage you to even take it further, right? Take it further. Continue to build and let other students know coming after you what's totally possible for them. Um, at this point, I'm going to stop Facebook broadcasting. Um, hopefully, if you've seen this on Facebook, you enjoy it, drop us a comment. The families follow, um, and I'll get the message to them if you're supporting or shouting out their scholar. <laughs>